Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So cos 5 on this is written as V0 cos 5 0 divided by this quantity 2.2079853 times V1. Okay, V zero already we have determined. This is our V zero here. So we should be able to work out this problem. Okay, so V one we have written as zero point five five two nine nine four six mu by R zero. Okay, this we have worked out, and how we have got it? We have used this equation. As I told you, this problem is with lengthy and with patience, if we work, we will be able to do it. So, this can be written as R1 we need to replace. So, we take here mu by R0 as common. Okay. So, 2 R0 divided by R1 minus R 0 by A under root So, this is mu by R 0 times 2 divided by R 1 by R 0 minus A by R 0 perhaps we had the value. So, we will just take the inverse of that we will get the result. So, R 1 by R 0 already we have determined this is the quantity we are looking for, but R 1 by R 0 this quantity already we have determined this is 2.207 as we have written here 79853 okay. this value we are having. So, by inserting this we get V 1 in terms of mu by R 0 times 2 divided by 2.2079853 and uh, minus 3 by 5 R 0 by A is and therefore, this quantity we are getting as 0 0.5529946 divided by mu by R 0 this is V 1 and V 0 is also known to us like the same way v 0 we have written somewhere 7 by 5 under root mu by r 0 7 by 5 under root 5 under root mu by r 0 under root. So, everything is known here in this place. So, from here v 0 divided by v 1 this becomes 0 0.5529946 divided by 7 by 5 under root. Okay, mu r 0 by mu r 0 these two terms will cancel out. So, once we get this and insert here in this place we get cos phi 1 and obviously cos phi 1 equal to insert this value 
zero point five five two nine nine four six divided by seven by five under root times cos twenty cos five zero. So five zero was twenty degree. Okay. So if we insert this value, the five one and flight path angle it never exceeds 180 degree so you get the correct value from here so 51 turns out to be 24.410107 degree so this is the flight path angle at position 1 so at the new position so this is the flight path angle path angle at Theta equal to 150 degree. Numbering could have made it easy, but we have not numbered the things. R0 by R1 we have already determined this is this part 2 point uh, R0 divided by R1 this is 1 divided by you will have to look back and uh, write all these values 2.2079853 and A by R0 uh, this we have written as a by r 0 5 by 3. So, this value turns out to be uh, 0 0.754839. So, this is a by r 1. Also, we can write a by r 1 equal to a by r 0 times r 0 by r r by r 1 a by r 0 is 5 by 3 r 0 by r was given to be 2. So, this is r by r 1. So, R 1 by R then will be equal to uh, we are looking for this value this is ok 3.3333 R 1 by A So, 3.3333 and R 1 by A is the quantity written here A by R 1. So, we can divide it by 0 0.7548 359. So, this gets reduced to 4.4 four one five nine seven zero eight. So this is R one by R.
now computing r1 times v2 square divided by mu what this quantity is in the orbit at theta equal to 150 degree this is v1 but either you are giving impulse here in this direction or either here it may be in this direction say this is v2 so we need this quantity also what will be the in the our computation this will be required so r1 v2 square divided by mu this quantity we have to compute and given a2 by r is 3.60 this is given so a2 equal to this is your r1 position at this position you you have to change the orbit means it may look like if you are changing so it may look like this without changing the periapsis periapsis remains same periapsis is here in this direction but the orbit you are changing maybe if you are giving here in this direction so it will look like this so this is your new orbit and for that then you have to calculate this distance divided by 2 that gives you the semi major axis so this is the thing being written here so this is a2 by r is given to you so half of this measuring from the obviously we have to uh, uh, this the focus remains unchanged okay so total from one end to another end from this perigee position to apogee position that distance is 2a and divided by 2 that gives you a so say th this is the half distance here so the, this half distance from here to here that becomes a2 so this is given to us okay so we utilize this information so a2 equal to r1 position is not changing so this remains r1 2 minus r1 v2 a square divided by mu okay. and therefore we can rearrange it and write it as r v2 a square divided by mu equal to r1 by a2 and this is the quantity we are looking for okay. so r1 v2 a square divided by mu this becomes 2 minus r1 by a2 So, 2 minus r 1 by r times r by a 2 this equal to 2 minus r 1 by r. So, r 1 by r these quantities are known to us actually. So, we can directly substitute all these quantities here rather than pulling it r by a this is a by a 2 by r this is given 3.6. Okay, so, this is minus sign and first we will r 1 by r how much this is we look for that r 1 by r is here 4.415. Okay, so, this value we need to insert. So, this value is 4.4159708 and a 2 by r is given to be 3.6. So, divide bring it in the denominator so this becomes 3.6 and finally then this yields you a value this equal to so r1 v2 a square divided by mu this gets reduced to 0 0.77334 So, we have here r 1 v 1 square divided by mu equal to 0 0.77333414. Okay. 
So, V 2 we can calculate R 1 is known to us therefore, V 2 can be calculated uh, this is V 2 a square therefore, V 2 we can compute from this equation. So, computing V 2. So, either use that equation or either we can also utilize this equation mu times 2 by r 1 minus 1 by a 2, a 2 is already given here. So, therefore, I am telling that this equation uh, this can be worked out in a number of ways there is not only one way of doing it. computing V 2. So, V 2 is this quantity and then insert the values mu by R 1 2 minus R 1 by A 2 under root A 2 bar I r is given to be there. So, this is mu by r 1 0 0.87939833 mu by r 1 under root. So, this is your A 2. So, velocity we have got we need the flight path angle. So, what exactly the situation is right now at this place the v 1 was known the flight path angle this phi 1 was known. Okay. Now, the v 2 is also known at this point say the v 2 may be here in this direction if this is the v 2 direction. Now, we have to calculate the flight path angle. So, flight path angle will be calculated from this horizontal. So, this is your local horizontal which is perpendicular to this. So, th then this becomes your this angle will be phi 2 and this angle is your phi 1. Okay, seeing the situation I will draw again. So, th this is the line here and uh, v 1 is in this direction the local horizontal is like this it makes 90 degree with this place okay. and uh, therefore, this is your phi 1 the flight path angle the other angle v 2 may be here in this direction. So, the corresponding angle this is phi 2. So, v 2 is known to us we have to determine this phi 2 also and if we get this then we will be able to know what is the separation between these two vectors say this is the v 1 vector and this is the v 2 vector. Okay. So, what will be the change this is delta v how we will know if this we know the difference between v, v 1 and v 2 vector which will come in terms of delta phi. So, this delta v can be calculated using the parallelogram rule. Okay, so, if next step in this is to find out now find phi 2 this is the objective this is equal to what if we get this our job will be done, but still we are uh, away from the final result. at the position new position here in this place this is r 1 okay. and once we are looking for the new orbit that the new orbit may uh, 
it may look like your new orbit may look like this. So, for this no new orbit you have a 2 value which is different. Okay. So, for this new orbit we are writing this L 2, because once your a is changing to a 2 or uh, we have used here a 2 well here, we have used here a 2 for the new semi major axis. So, corresponding to this, this is L 2. So, this equation we write as 1 plus e 2 cos theta. So, 1 plus e 2 now uh, cos theta equal to 150 degree. So, this is L 2 by R 1 this becomes equal to 1 minus 0 0.8 6602540 e2 this is r1 so r1 times 1 minus 0 0.8660254 e2 and therefore from here we get this is so we have to solve ok so a 2 by r 1 this quantity is a 2 by r times r by r 1 so inserting this values a 2 by r is given to be 3.60 and then we will have r 1 by r value this is known to us. So, this is 3.6 and we have already calculated this was 4.4159708. So, this turns out to be 0 0.8152227 and once we use this a 2 by r here in this place if you use this here. Okay. So, you will have a 2 0. 8152227 times 1 minus e 2 a square this equal to 1 minus 0 0.8660254 e 2 and you know this is the quadratic equation. Okay. So, if you solve it this comes into this format e a square minus 1.062317575 1 e 2 plus 0 0.2266586 okay. 0. So, the solution of the E 2 is then 0 0.2956358 because it is a quadratic equation. So, the solution to this comes we will have two values for this another one comes out to be 0 0.76 uh, 6 6 8 7 6 6 6 8 1 6. So, this is these are the two values of E 2 which comes from this equation. Now, which one is correct and which one we should use and which one we should not use? This is the situation condition right now. Okay. So, A 2 is known to you, A 2 is known, A 2 by R this is given to be 3.60. Okay. So, let us explore what will be the peri abscess position R p. So, R p equal to A times 1 minus e this equation we can utilize. So, here a here in this case is 3.60 times r and if we use this value or that value. So, depending on here you can see that what will be the peri abscess value. So, we need to compute this. Okay. So, if we put here 1 minus 0 0.7666816 okay 
So, uh, let us say this uh, I approximate this as uh, 0 0.75 okay, for convenience, the, this has nothing to do with our computation. So, uh, 0 0.360 r times this becomes 0 0.25 means 3.60 divided by 4 r means uh, this becomes 0 0.9, 9, 0 0.9 r that means the periapsis is less than the radius of the earth. So, this simply implies that if you are taking the solution this solution okay, 0 0.766 for the eccentricity. So, in that case your periapsis it goes inside the earth means it the orbit becomes something like this. So, this is not a possible orbit because it is striking the surface of the earth. If the satellite goes in this path, so it will simply go and hit the surface of the earth and it will get destroyed. So, this is not a possibility therefore, E 2 equal to 0 0.766, 0 0.766 this one is rejected. We do not work with this. So, what is our option E 2 equal to? 2.295, 0 0.295, 6358, 6358 this is the possibility and we will work with this. So, this is our E 2. So, corresponding L 2 then becomes we know this quantity will be R by uh, we know that r equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta. So, here if we write r 1 is not changing, r is not changing at the position, the position where we are giving the impulse which is here this point. Okay. So, we keep this as r 1 while l will change to l 2 and 1 e 2 e will become e 2 and cos theta equal to 150 degree and plus and therefore, this implies L 2 equal to R 1 times 1 plus E 2 cos 150 degree and this will turn out to be if we use this value. So, this will turn out to be uh, R 1 times 1 minus 0 0.866 0 0.254 e 2 insert the value of the e 2 from this place. So, this gets as r 1 times 0 0.7439718. So, this is your L 2. Now, we are close to uh, our work uh, end but still it will take some 10 15 minutes and we will wind up this. So, H V 2 R 1 cos phi 2 and H will write as H 2 because once you are giving impulse. So, the orbit will change it will not remain the same orbit. Therefore, cos phi 2 from this place as earlier we have used the equation the same equation we are using here only thing with the variable change here h instead of h we are writing here h 2. Okay. So, at the new position this is the uh, this uh, r cross v the specific angular momentum which we have called and uh, th this is the v 2 position the uh, velocity at the position r 1 this is R 1 itself and this is the corresponding flight path angle. So, cos phi 2 then becomes H 2 is nothing but mu times L 2 under root okay. H is equal to mu times L H square equal to mu times L. So, from there we are putting it V 2 R 1. So, all these quantities already we have calculated. So, once we insert those values we will get the solution L 2 by R 1 under root C 
So, we will write it like this and insert the values L 2 by R 1 is 0 0.7439718 under root divided by this quantity this will be R 1 V 2 A square divided by mu under root. So, this quantity is also known to us. So, we just insert in those values 7439718 under root divided by 0 0.7733414. So, this turns out to be 0 0.9808274. So, this is cos phi 2. So, R 1 V 2 A square divided by mu and uh, see from here we can uh, write this phi 2 value phi 2 will turn out to be 11.237612 degree this is phi 2 right path angle and this quantity you, you will similarly you can write as this is 7 7 already we have used it here. So, this is 7733414. Okay. So, now this flight path angle is available to us. So, coming to the final version. So, this is R1 here, okay. this is the local horizontal, and V1 is here in this direction, and V2 is here in this direction. So, V1 angle this angle from this place to this place this is around 24 something we have calculated uh, this is 24.410107 we calculated this is phi 1 and the angle this one right now we have calculated this is phi 2. So, phi 2 is turning out to be um, phi 2 equal to 11.237612. So, this is your delta phi. Okay. So, if your one vector is here, another vector is here, this is your v 1 and this is your v 2. So, you need to give this delta v impulse while this is delta phi is given here. So, these two vectors are available to us. Magnitude wise it is available and uh, we just need to uh, compute this uh, delta v. So, delta v is the impulse magnitude just we require. So, delta v will be equal to v 1 square plus v 2 a square minus 2 v 1. You can look from the um, this uh, triangle here using parallelogram rule you can construct it. Okay. This will come again in the trajectory transfer because the most of the things we are from the orbit part. So, I have done this problem here. So, delta v you put the values here 0 0.82 one seven one zero seven square this will be mu by r one plus zero point eight seven nine three nine eight three square divided by mu by r one these are the corresponding values we are inserting minus two times r 1 r 2 this v 1 v 2 value we have to insert here. So, 0 0.8217107 times 0 0.8793983 and times cos delta beta. So, cos delta beta is 24.410107 minus 11.237621. So, you compute this value this is this is all under under root sign. So, this will turn out to be delta v equal to 0.8 okay. and thereafter mu 1 and mu y r 1 and mu y r 1 is associated with this. So, this I also we should write here this is mu y r 1 times. Okay. So, mu y r 1 we can take it outside and this should be a square here actually. So, uh, mu y r 1 this is square after coming. So, therefore, we will put here one under root sign to this 
this is under root because it is a coming because of a square. If you look back all these values as I am concluding it. So, this will turn out to be 0 0.2033 5 6 7 mu by r 1 under root. So, this value is known to us. So, therefore, delta v. So, how much impulse is required in which direction the impulse is required this we have computed from this place. Okay. So, as a final uh, final observation. So, this is your abscess line somewhere the focus is located here this was the original orbit and 150 degree lying somewhere here so this is theta 1 equal to 150 degree okay at this point the v0 is like this and uh, this is the local horizontal so this angle is phi 1 equal to 24 point something here and uh, the new velocity vector is somewhere here this is the original I am not showing the magnitude wise. So, this is v 1 and this is v 2. So, the new angle is from this place to this place. So, this angle is 11 point something. Okay. So, this is your delta phi. So, in which direction you have to give impulse if uh, this is one vector okay, and this is another vector. Okay, and whatever the magnitude is there. So, accordingly depending on the this delta phi value you will know in which direction you have to give this impulse and this is delta v is available to us. So, this is the situation. So, with this new thing your uh, orbit will change and orbit will look like the orbit will look like this. So, overall so, your A changes without change of the apsis. So, the center of attraction remains same, but the total from this place to this place this distance becomes your 2 A 2 and half of this will be the semi major axis. Okay. So, if, uh, So, I feel uh, this is enough for today. Uh, so, we have done one major problem here which requires a number of skills and uh, integrating together different uh, situations and solving the problem. So, we conclude here. So, thank you very much.